Welcome back everyone. I'm going to be doing a recording of me playing Need for Speed Most Wanted on the new Razor Edge Pro. Just to give everyone an idea of the performance they could expect if they want to play this game. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Also show off my settings and a funny little glitch that I found on one of the game races. I'm sure I'll be able to reproduce it, but I've never seen it before. I've played this on the PS3 and the Vita and never seen this funny glitch I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Running fraps in the top left corner so you can see the frames. It's a little easier to see than the Razer frame rates counter, which is actually quite a bit smaller, so I'm using that just for ease for recording. And I get taken out right away. Of course, it's nighttime, so things are a little easier to render at dark. I'll go ahead and show you guys the settings I'm using right now. So I'm running the native resolution 1366 by 768. High risk textures are on, motion blur is on, max. Shadow levels on max. Headlight shadows on. Ambulant occlusion. It's on medium. Reflection details on high. VFX details on high. Geometry details on medium. Light scatterings on. Super sampling is off. That'll do anti-aliasing and make it really, really hard to run. But for the most part, it's running on high medium, mostly high. It's running native res, and I'm getting very, very playable frame rates, anywhere from 35 to 45, 50. Um, I've seen it dip as low as maybe 29 if there's a lot of, you know, police chase, big police chase going on, or a lot of action on the screen, but very, very playable on this level. We'll go ahead and bump everything up. 4X super sampling. Put that guy on high. Ambient on high. And that's maxed. So, let's see what kind of frames we get here. So I'm about 27 right now. Currently playing with a 360 controller. Usually I'd be using the game pad. But it's much easier to record like this. There's a rack that dropped as low as 19. 22 right now, 18. So, overall it runs it very, very well. Close to high. Okay, so I'm loading the race here to unlock some new upgrades for my car. And this is the glitch that happens at the start of the race in the little intro. I'd back up too if I saw that. And then check here on the left. A twister of officers. <laughs> I haven't seen that in any other version. Very, very funny. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.